Hello, everyone. I am Zhao Chuan. Let's draw the skull of a juvenile Tyrannosaurus rex. There aren't any real newborn T. rex skull fossils found so far, so we can infer its look based on other dinosaurs. A newborn Titanosaur fossil was once discovered with a head structure, utterly different from an adult dinosaur. It had huge eyes and the large posterior of the head. Its mouth was thin and small, resembling a bird. The same might be true for the juvenile T-Rex. Although the structure might differ from that of titanosaurs, it probably had similar characteristics. For example, its eyes can be drawn large, the snout can be drawn smaller. We can scale the skull of the adult T-Rex down according to different proportions, making the mouth more delicate and the eyes more enlarged, but keep other structures the same as the adult T-Rex. Now, let's draw the skull of a juvenile T-Rex. We first roughly outline the shape of its nose, which is relatively short and pointed. The back of the head can be drawn rounder. Then, let's sketch its eye socket. Same as the adult T-Rex, its eye sockets were relatively long and larger. There were horn-like structures in front and behind its eyes, but they were probably smaller. There was a bone here behind the eye. Next, we draw its maxilla and lacrimal bone forward. Then, draw its jugal bone. Now, we come to the back of its head, and draw the occipital bone and the quadrate bone on the side, which form the temporal fenestra, that is shaped like a capitalized letter B. Then comes its antorbital fenestra, followed by its maxilla. In front of the maxilla was the premaxilla. Then, we draw its teeth. There were four teeth on the premaxilla. Those teeth behind were arranged one small and one big alternatively, then got smaller and smaller. The teeth only grew on the maxilla, so we should not draw them exceeding the boundary of the maxilla. Then, we show the sclerotic ring inside the eye, like the shape of a swimming ring, or a car tire. Next, we move to its lower jaw, which is thinner at the front and wider at the rear. Here was a hole that accommodated muscles. We use a dark pen to fill in the hollow part. Note that there are still some bone structures in the antorbital fenestra. We can blacken the rest of the eye socket except the sclerotic ring to highlight the structures inside. We also blacken the temporal fenestra. Next, we draw its skin. The skin of the dinosaur skull was relatively thin, so we can trace along the outline and make the parts with flesh and hair slightly thicker. Good, in this way, we've finished drawing the skull of a juvenile Tyrannosaurus rex.